Okay, hey guys, so today's video is going to be more of a vlog for part of it. Not all of it, but part of it. And I'm going to... The camera's moving. Anyways, um, I'm going to go get COVID tested today because in order for me to come back to school, I have to have a negative test. And I go back, I move in, move back in Saturday. So, and today's Monday. So we're hoping it's a spit test because I really really do not want the q-tip stuck up my nose i don't think anyone wants to do it but i mean you gotta do what you gotta do so if i have to do it i have to do it so we're gonna hope it's a spit test and then i'll vlog that on my phone so the quality might change but it's okay we're gonna deal with it so um after that we're gonna come back and i'm going to go over trends you don't want to see in 2021 i asked my followers on instagram what trends they don't want to see several of them broke my heart because i i happen to love some of them and yes i've already looked over them but we're gonna add it to this video too so we're gonna see what trends you don't want to see talk about them discuss them obviously they're all opinions you can wear what you want I, it doesn't bother me what you wear. We're just gonna... Oh, some of them are not things you wear. Or just other shows like that. So, I'll, I'll, I'll see y'all when I go get COVID tested. Okay, bye guys. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all the fit for the day. So, I left my hair natural. Didn't really feel like doing it. Anyway, um, these gold hoops from Boohoo. This double chain necklace from Boohoo, this orange top from Target like over a year ago, and I'm like standing on my bed and this is a tiny mirror. Ignore my depression room by the way. We don't need to talk about it. Anyways, these distressed mom jeans from American Eagle. Anyways, so now we can go get COVID tested. Changing up the scenery. Also, hold up, let me, we're gonna update my outfit. I didn't do much, but we're gonna update my outfit. Okay, here's the bottom of the jeans. I didn't, couldn't really show y'all, but I added my Converse's because I wanted to, so. We also have the mask. My little Hogwarts Slytherin mask. Oh, probably shouldn't show you the license plates. It looks like he's spitting in something. I can't I tell. Anyways, COVID test time. Um, I think this, uh, if I can take my mask off, that'd be great. This, so I can read the directions. I know what I'm supposed to do. I can read it myself. Anyways, we're taking our COVID test. Um, I didn't realize that you had to do it yourself. Not do it yourself, but like, I thought they were going to be standing there while you do it. Apparently not. Um, I think this is up the nose and I'm going to cry if it is. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So... Let me, let me, yeah, what? That barcode. Oh, it was on that side. Oh, I put it in that part. Okay. Hold up. I need to, um, now we don't think I have COVID. This is just required by my school. It's not. Oh, four is half an inch. It's, it looks like it's just from like. Look, at least this is a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that was a weird feeling. Okay, what side do I put? Oh, I break it off, mm -hmm. and I just play swap into. Oh. I'm breaking it's it. It breaks at the top. Okay, hey guys, so yesterday, it is now the next day. Let me just say that. So, I went and got COVID tested and I came and I went, came home, ate lunch, but I had a headache because I get car sick. So, um, I just decided that I was just gonna wait until today to finish the video. Which is fine, cause like, I can like do more vlogs or whatever for today. So, um, right now I'm just like 
barely straightening my hair. Can't tell if I'm out. And like I have a mirror behind me that I could use, but I'm gonna stick to my phone. Um, I'm not straightening my hair all the way because I'm not with that right now. So while I finish straightening my hair, we can talk about the trends that people don't want to see in 2021. So let me pull that up and we can talk about that while I straighten my hair. <laughs> so the first one was, okay, yeah, I do remember this one because I, um, the trends that people don't want to see is YouTubers and I was kind of confused. So I asked her to elaborate on that one and she said more like YouTubers, YouTubers more like James Charles and Jake and Logan Paul, basically all like the drama. So I happen to agree with that. I think if people want to have like YouTube channels, like yeah, that's fine, whatever. I mean, this is my second video, so obviously like I have a YouTube channel. So I do agree with that. I think people just like creating drama for no reason is stupid. Like especially like I don't, I have no subscribers. So no one's gonna see this, or like not that many people are gonna see it. So like I can talk about this and not get canceled. <laughs> but basically, like YouTubers, like the James Charles and Tati drama, was so stupid. Like Tati needs to understand that the career that she has been in, people get partnerships with different brands. Like yes. All that like sugar bear hair is one of her like competitors but I mean everyone has a competitor people are gonna use other products like if you know I'm not okay that, that's what I'm gonna say on that because that was in the past that was a long time ago actually that was at the beginning of quarantine or something like that so we're just gonna continue on um next one was low-rise jeans you will never catch me wearing low-rise jeans. I love every type of high-waisted pants, whether it's just like jeans in general. Like, and I don't know, just like what other types of pants, I guess. I don't know. I, I just don't like low-rise jeans. People can rock it, but I'm not one of those people. So that's why I'm not on board with low-rise jeans. There's actually multiple of these that said blue eyes jeans actually. Okay, next one was tie-dye. I like tie-dye, but it just depends on like how you style it, I guess. Like if it's a tie-dye, like oversized t-shirt, and you're going for like a more relaxed casual fit, then yeah, I think it's cool. But I'm not with like the, I don't know. There's do's and don'ts when it comes to tie-dye I guess. Next one is mini handbags. I have too many handbags that I have not used yet because they're not practical. I bought them off of Shein to use for pictures. So and plus they're on Shein so they're like three dollars. But other than that they have no practical use which I get like the not wanting the trying to continue um but if you use it for pictures like I think it's cool but I use this let's see it's actually great. I use this bag and I have a black um Kate Spade one that I use for like actual practical use so I mean I kind of agree with that but I think they're cute um another one was fringe I like fringe sometimes there's really cute bodysuit on nasty gal that I really like and I've been like eyeing it like wanting to buy it but we're a college student so if you'd like to subscribe and watch my videos so I can get my account monetized so I can buy it <laughs> that'd be greatly appreciated anyways okay um Let's see, the next one was anything visco or brighten. Okay, well, we'll start with anything visco. 
I think the whole Visco Girl trend or aesthetic is really boring now. Not saying that I don't wear leggings, oversized t-shirts, or Nike shorts and oversized t-shirts because I do. I'm wearing my Nike shorts right now, but you wouldn't be able to know that, but I just told you. Anyways, so I don't do it as a fashion trend. I do it because it is comfortable when I go and run errands or am I just walking around downtown because I live in the middle of downtown St. Augustine. Anyway, because I mean, y'all know Flywood. Well, probably not everyone knows Flywood colleges, but I just told you. So, anyways, if I say, let's start a count of how many times I say anyways and take a shot. I'm just kidding. If you're under age, don't do that. Okay, um, I have actually two of them for neon, like neon stuff. So, I don't know. I'm a little torn on this one because. I've literally been straightening the same part of my hair like for five minutes. Anyways, <laughs> there's same with tie dye. Like there's do's and don'ts when it comes to doing neons. I think having a pop of neon in like a bland outfit is really cool. Like there's some Nike blazers that I really want, and they're just white, but the Nike swoosh is a neon yellow. I think that's really cool and you can just like pair it with like a basic outfit but like I mean obviously accessorize or whatever but sometimes it can be cool um boot cut jeans I agree I don't like boot cut boot cut is like the in between of flares and straight leg straight leg I like straight leg. I have two pairs of straight leg jeans. I mean, I guess you can say they're like boyfriend jeans, but I pretty much think they're the same thing. But straight leg is more of like a relaxed kind of thing. I'll put in pictures, I guess. And flares. I don't like flares when it comes to jeans. I think I look like I'm going to a university football game and I don't go to a school of football not because I don't want to because I did I really wanted the whole like college experience with football sororities whatnot but I go to a small private school and we don't have that so I have been accustomed to not going to football games which is fine I'm not complaining um but I do have like other pants that are flares that I absolutely love. They're plaid and they're from American Eagle. I think they're super cute. So I wear those. But bootcut jeans, never catch me wearing bootcut jeans. Don't get me started with low rise bootcut jeans. That's like a combination of everything I hate. But let's continue. Um, no more shoestring lace belts. Shoestring belts. Yeah. Anyways. So, I tried that trend out a few times, mainly because I didn't have a belt that went, that would like fit around the jeans that I had because I actually like ordered the jeans too big, but I made it work. So, shoestring belts. I thought it was cute, but the way I was styling it was cute. You can't style it with everything. I usually styled it with like a sweatshirt tucked in a little bit on the side, distressed mom jeans, and some like cute sneakers. I thought it was cute. It's more like a casual fit, but it's okay. I don't like all of them. Like like it with like a, I say like one more time. It doesn't go with everything, so be careful. About it. But I think like if you want to wear it, whatever. I like different types of belt, so it's okay. Um, extremely ripped jeans. I don't think you should be wearing ripped jeans that are ripped literally everywhere. Most of my jeans I have are like rips up the knees and like occasional ones like in the upper thigh but like they're smaller. So I think those are cute but like if you're paying $50 for like American Eagle ripped jeans, those jeans are ripped 
everywhere. I don't recommend. Someone says shoulder pads. Um, I don't really have an opinion on it. Like, I personally wouldn't wear it. But, I mean, I think they can be cute. Just not my style, I guess. Distressed t-shirts. Okay, I happen to love those, um, um, not American Eagle, uh, Urban Outfitters, Sublime, um, Distressed t-shirts. I think those are, I should probably turn this off. I happen to like those. It's just I never bought one because everyone has them. And I wasn't gonna be like everyone. So, it's in fake drama. I think they're stupid. Just, do you have anything better to do with your time? Apparently not. I think if you have a gossip blog or create fake drama, you are everything wrong with this world. So. Platform shoes. Now I don't have mine with me. But are you talking about like those platform like Steve Madden sandals? Because I like them. Sometimes. I have a black pair and a snake print pair. Snake print pair. But I mean I think they're cute. Whatever. But then there's also like those alt girls that wear like those platform shoes i mean it's not my style like obviously like if it's your style wear them but that's not my i mean i guess it can be cute but if you're going for that look go ahead with your bad self but it's not my cup of tea um tiktok ruining bangers okay i do have to agree tiktok has been ruining a lot of songs for me recently. I, I don't know. I know people are gonna bring songs to TikTok and like make videos out of it and then it's gonna blow up. But I don't know. It's sad because I can't listen to songs the same anymore because of that. Let's see, was that the last one? I think that was the last one I thought there was more than that anyways so that's it for this part of the video 2021 trends you don't want to see am I gonna vlog the rest of the day possibly we'll see I don't know I'm literally just going out to lunch and then I'm coming back home and I should probably do laundry because I, I go back to school on Friday and I need to pack and just clean my room so if this is the end of the video i'll just crop everything out and i'll just say this thanks for watching my videos like and subscribe and i'll see you next time